In this video, we're going to talk about factor by grouping in order to factor a, a, a polynomial that has four terms. So I have an example here of a polynomial with four terms. Terms are separated by addition and subtraction signs. So one, two, three, four. Those are the four terms. These are the steps we want to follow when we're doing factoring by grouping. First, we want to divide the four terms into two groups of two terms. So I'm going to just group it the way I see it, where I take the first two terms is my first group, and the second two terms are my second group. And this is always best as long as the polynomial is in standard form, meaning it's the highest exponent down to the lowest exponent. The second step is to factor out the greatest common factor. So here we have negative 8 and negative 2. Those are both divisible by negative 2. And we have x cubed and x squared. Those both have at least an x squared in them. So that's the GCF. And when we factor out, that means we're basically dividing each term by negative 2x squared. So negative 8 divided by negative 2 is 4, and x cubed divided by x squared is just x. Negative 2x squared divided by negative 2x squared is positive 1. I should be able to go back and distribute, which means multiply the outside times each term on the inside and get back to that answer, negative 8x cubed minus 2x squared. So that's a good way to check to make sure you can get back to the starting polynomial. Okay, and then we want to do the same thing for our second group over here. Now keep in mind, we want the inside parentheses to be the same. That's third step. What is left in the parentheses for each group has to be the same. If it's not the same and there's no way to make it the same by factoring out a negative versus a positive, then it means it's prime. But in here, negative 12x minus 3, if we factored out a negative 3, we would be able to distribute negative 3 times 4x is negative 12x, negative 3 times positive 1 is negative 3, so we would be able to get the same inside the parentheses. They have to be the same because that's the one they have in common. So that means that is going to be one of the binomials in the answer. And the other binomial comes from the outside numbers. You're going to take those that you factored out, those GCFs, and you're going to put those together to make the other binomial in your final answer. So this would be our final answer, our, our factored form, and we did it by factor by grouping. If we were to multiply, we should be able to get back to our original polynomial. So in a question like this, where it says what's one way to determine the factors, well, First, we want to look at what would be, if we grouped the first term, what would be the greatest common factor? Since x cubed doesn't have a number, then we wouldn't have a number for the GCF other than 1, and 1 doesn't change anything. So we're just looking at x cubed and x squared, and they have x squared in common. x cubed divided by x squared is x negative 9x squared divided by x squared is negative 9. So again, we got that by saying x cubed divided by x squared. Keep the base, subtract the exponents. That's x to the first. 9, negative 9x squared divided by x squared. The x squareds cancel, leaving me with negative 9. So that's why this first parenthesis is x minus 9. And then in the second parentheses, we could factor out a positive 5. 
5x divided by 5 is x. Negative 45 divided by 5 is negative 9. Do we have the same number inside the parentheses? Yes. So that would be this first answer choice right there. Now if we were going to go to one step further and actually write the final factored form, we would want to put whatever's inside the parentheses in common, that's one of my binomials, and whatever terms are outside the parentheses go together in my other binomial. So this would be the final answer for the factored form. So here we have a problem where we are given a polynomial. The polynomial was divided into two groups, with the first group being the first two terms, and the second group being the second two terms. The GCF. 6 and 8 are both divisible by 2, and then they both have at least x squared. And when we factor out 2x squared, we get 6x to the 4th divided by 2x squared. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and x to the 4th divided by x squared. 4 minus 2 is x squared. So they have the 3x squared, right? And then we would do negative 8x squared divided by 2x squared. The x squareds cancel, leaving me with negative 8 divided by 2, which is negative 4. So that's correct. But then notice when you got over here to 3x squared plus 4, they don't both have an x, and <clears throat> 3 and 4 aren't divisible by anything other than 1, so they just have a 1 there. But she noticed that she does not have a common factor which, remember, what's left inside the parentheses has to be the same because that represents one of your factors, and it has to be the same in both of them. If it's not the same, then she should label this as a prime polynomial. And just for one more example, we are going to split them into groups. I think I already did this one, but we've got x squared and x cubed have at least two x's in common, leaving me with x minus 9, which means this side has to be x minus 9. Negative 45 divided by negative 9 here is positive 5. Make sure when I distribute that that gives me the same thing. Positive 5x minus 45 there. x squared times x is x cubed minus 9x squared there. Now write my final answer. The common polynomial from inside, x minus 9 is one of my factors. And then the outsides, x squared plus 5, are the other factor.